Hello, and welcome to Team Fluorescent Flying Penguins series of EV3 video tutorials. Team Fluorescent Flying Penguins is a middle school FLL team. If you already know what video you would like to view, please click on one of the color tabs below. If you do not know which video you would like to view, you might want to watch the EV3 overview video, which will be starting in just a moment. Thank you. Hi guys, this is Julia from the FLL Team Fluorescent Flying Penguins, and today, I'm going to be talking about the EV3 programming environment. So the first thing I'm going to cover is these five choices here. What you have here is what this home screen looks like exactly when you open EV3. Um, so what you have is the model core set. It gives you instructions for stuff you can build with the core set. And you have the expansion set, which gives you more things you can build. And then down here, you can open projects, make a new project, or open a recent project. And then you have the robot educator, which gives you videos and information about your hardware, which is your brick, your motors, and your sensors. You have data logging tools, which are sound editor, my blocks, and the image editor. And then you have some more building instructions for stuff. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a project. To make a project, you hover over this thing, you click Add Project, and it gives you a new project with a program open. Um, this is a start block. It's what comes at the beginning of every project. And down here are, is your accessibility to all your blocks. What I have right now open is the Action tab. And then there's the Flow Control tab and the Sensor tab, the Data Operations, the Advanced, and then the My Blocks. The reason that the My Blocks are empty is because My Blocks are your own personal pro blocks that you create. And then another cool thing, that I, the feature that I found, is that you can use the first six number buttons and you can go one, you can go one through six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is the brick information. So what that is, is it's this thing down here and you have information about the brick, um, what it plugs stuff, what plug stuff is plugged into it, and then uh, how it's connected and what are the bricks you can see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug in the brick, and um, now you see it's called EV3, um, and it's connected via USB, and you can see what is plugged into its ports. For example, we have a motor, two large motors plugged into B and C, and then we have a gyro sensor plugged into port one. Now I'm gonna, oh, that's cool. That's really cool. So what you can do, as I just realized, is that you can like turn and the gyro sensor will change and you could turn the motors and see how that number is going down? So you can like reset your motors. And then these are your download buttons. For example, you can download, you can download and run, and then you can download and run selected. What you want to do is you select a block and then you say download and run selected. And then you have available bricks, and the only available brick is this brick because we don't have any other bricks. Um, so what I'm going to be talking about next is the content editor. The content editor is this thing right here, and what you can do is you can insert pages and slides. And so this is your first page, and you can do text, images, video, sound, and webcams. But when you add more pages, they give you more options. For example, now you have building instructions, and you have documents and tables. Those are the extra things. So I'm going to do checks, and I'm just going to say, hi, Bob. How are, are you today? And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to change the size, and then it's going to look like this. So this is what the content editor is used for. And if you don't like looking at it, you can also close it and it disappears. OK, so the last thing that I'm going to be talking about today is the project properties. Project properties are over here. And in here, you can change the name of the project. For example, I'm just going to name this thing example. And then you can add a picture. And you can use this. And you can add another image or a video. You can give it a description, for example, I will, I can fly. I don't know where that came from, that was just me being random. 
And you can see all your programs here, what images you're using, what sounds you're using, what my blocks you have, what variables you have, and what items you have that are exportable. Thank you for watching this episode of EV3 with Team Fluorescent Flying Penguins. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you for watching the first video in the EV3 series. If you now know what video you would like to view, please click on one of the colored tabs below. If you do not know which video you would like to view, this video will soon be followed by the first video in the action series.